The Milltown Manufacturing Company in Donegal Town has existed for some years mainly on framing prints, but today it has two outstanding products. One is the manufacture of mouldings for prints and paintings. The other, the prints themselves. Eighty men and women are employed on two shifts here, making miles and miles of moulding. That's picture frames to you and me, more than 70% of which goes for export. But more interestingly, perhaps, is the fact that here in this Donegal factory, they keep the originals of the tens of thousands of holy pictures which are so familiar in Irish homes. Until two years ago, the originals and the prints were owned by the old Swiss firm of Kunzli Brothers in Zurich, a firm well established for 200 years and one which supplied the whole world with those oleographs of saints, saints in all shapes and sizes. Then in 1965, the firm went out of business and the three Timoney Brothers of Donegal Town bought up the entire Swiss stock. Some 350 originals of these saints and almost four million prints. The factory and showrooms are giant repositories of objects of religious fervor. From the Sacred Heart, at least half a dozen different interpretations, to St. Patrick, the Virgin Mary, biblical scenes, to the more obscure saints like St. Elena, the Black St. Benito of Palermo, St. Rosa, St. Nicola of Bari. Hundreds of saints for hundreds of homes in a variety of tasteful and sometimes quite tasteless poses. Objects of veneration in strange parts of the world, from little six by four inches to 36 by 24s. Price in the shops from 10 bob to a couple of quid. Donegal is now the fountainhead of all this religious art. But apart from the Irish, who buys them? The prints go all over the world to uh, New Zealand, Australia, some to South America, the States, Mexico and France. And what, what's, what sort of people buy them? Do people buy them individually or is it in great lots? Oh, no, all their sales would be in hundreds or fifties. And they would go to whom? They go to missions and to uh, religious repositories, places like that. Which saint would you say is the most popular? Well, the most popular would be the uh, Sacred Heart, Blessed Virgin, Holy Family. But that varies again according to the location where they'd be going to. That, in that location, uh, in Ireland, that would say, be in they, Ireland. they would be the best-selling lines. They would. What about America? Uh, the Last Supper is very good in America. They're, they're all pretty steady lines. These they are. Things. Pretty basic. And, and what would you say was the most unusual? Probably St. Nicholas of Bari or St. Benito of Palermo. Fairly unusual ones. They would only be sold in their own localities, would they, or would they be sent to America? Or Generally in their own locality. There seems to be an awful lot of them, Mr. Timothy. What would you say they were worth? Probably 20, 25,000 pounds, I'd say. So really, there's, there's not likely to be any shortage of holy pictures in my time or yours? I don't think so. <laughs> 